princess and wore very provocative outfits in the 1980s that may have broken royal protocol in the 80s, the most daring princess look was a dress with a collar and an open back. As one of the royal family's most important style icons, the princess needs no introduction. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any updates about the British royal family. As the only sister of King Charles III, now in his 70s, her royal career has been quite the illustrious one, from becoming a Vogue cover girl to being officially recognized as the hardest working royal for several years running. Princess Anne, 72, was once the royal family's it girl, although her looks are now quite low-key. The senior princess's dress archive has a rich history, including miniskirts, 1970s florals and fancy tiaras, even before she was licensed. Princess Anne's 30s look happened in the 1980s. Pictures of the royal meeting with King Constantine of Greece in London have recently resurfaced. They captured the royal in a stunning blue silk gown with a plunging neckline. Anne wore a lovely striped turtleneck dress with bodice, open back, and full skater skirt. She looked very elegant in the ornate dress but the bare shoulders and exposed cleavage may have broken royal protocol. The royal's younger sister wore her black hair in her signature bun, which she has favored for nearly 50 years. She added elegance to her evening look with stunning pearl earrings and a trio of pearl necklaces around her neck. Princess Anne carried a black leather clutch as part of her overall look, and her wrists were adorned with several gold bangles. Royal women can show off their shoulders. In fact, the Princess of Wales has worn several bardo dresses on the red carpet. In addition, the late Princess Diana's gorgeous, embellished strapless gowns and bejeweled off-the-shoulder gowns are also a tribute to her fashion sense. Princess Anne's 1980s collared dress certainly drew attention at the time, but senior members of the royal family should dress appropriately for royal engagements. A royal princess never hesitates to deviate from the accepted royal dress code. In 1973 she wore a canary silk blouse with a sky blue trouser suit. Pantsuits were once a fashion faux pas for royal women, but have now become a popular royal style trend. Bold royal princesses once made the fashion decision to go for masculine tailored silhouettes.